driving again and I'm having some thoughts I want to muse on again. So as soon as the mind goes into that neutral state or in the meditative state, um, it has time to ponder. And I was thinking back, you know, my Christian years. I can't blame everything on Christianity, um, but I do understand now, in hindsight, how Christianity can be so misleading and uh, ineffective. I was just thinking, you know, um, miracles were very hard for me to believe in as a Christian. Yes, um, there was the odd occasion where a miracle happened and I was certainly grateful. My life has been spared because of a miracle on a couple of occasions. But in hindsight, I, you know, having been made acutely aware of my soul and my subconscious mind and all the trauma that created uh, the construct of my being, the trauma that built uh, the persona that was known as Renee. Um, as I became familiar with that, I could see how my life was formed by that. I could see why miracles were so difficult for me to achieve and receive. Like, my persona, because of the way I was raised, because of the trauma in childhood and perhaps previous lives, I have never had a regression, but pe many people have uh, gotten a regression and it revealed that their subconscious has memories of other lifetimes. So I'm not ruling that out, but just this lifetime alone um, holds enough trauma that it skewed me um, into a sense of unworthiness, inability, um, and then uh, when you heap the Christian or biblical theology on top of that, you really build a case for failure. So, because I was in such a strong identity of I can't, I'm unworthy, um, I don't deserve this, miracles couldn't manifest for me because there was too much, uh, too much clutter and matter in the way in my belief system blocking a change, blocking a shift. Um, today, uh, I have a much easier time with that because I deconstructed my former persona and the false beliefs about myself um, and now I enjoy the consciousness of my divine self, creator consciousness, that my everyday life um, more or less is a miracle in itself. Um, you know, the uh, living every day in the attitude of gratitude and appreciation, the energy and vibration of appreciation makes me able to appreciate and enjoy every now moment. I guess that is what right brain living looks like. According to Dr. Jill Bolte-Taylor, um, 
a neuro analyst um, which I highly recommend you look up on YouTube um, most of our most of us live in our left brain uh, the fight and flight because we're so problem oriented because we're always in the past in memories or in the future with worries so the left side is really activated and a lot of people can't ever slow down enough to swing it to the right side and be present in the present now and I am living a lot more often now in the right side uh, but actually very balanced because um, language and words and verbalization and articulation are left brain functions but I combine it with my right brain presence I can be here right in every moment and take in the miracle that every now moment is and that makes life so much more enjoyable um, exciting to you know life just happens for you in a really great way and all it takes is a mental shift a mind shift a mindset shift from left to right and uh, you can create a beautiful life just by doing that so to recap the difficulty I had with receiving miracles in my former persona as I was weighed down with all of my trauma and a false belief about myself my self-identity I was not in receptive mode life was really difficult and I believed it was difficult because I wasn't deserving of good things right so what is blocking your good fortune and your happiness in your everyday life are you too much in your left brain hemisphere either always worrying about the future or grieving the past um, you need to do what dr. Jill Bolte Taylor calls the brain huddle get all four characters in your brain the two of the left and the two on the right for a big huddle and let's cooperate to bring all the functions into the now and uh, support um, whole brain living right then miracles will happen every day because life itself will become a miracle